Hello, we are Team Total Chaos. Welcome to part one of our series about programming for FTC with App Inventor. In this video, we will be teaching you about the new interface and about the Driver Station app. There are two platforms FTC teams can use this year, App Inventor and Android Studio. We will be focusing on App Inventor. App Inventor is a design tool featuring an easy drag and drop interface created by MIT. App Inventor is usually used on a website, but since FTC teams may not have access to internet during the competition, we will be using the local version downloaded onto your computer. Please ensure that you have an internet connection for the downloading process. To download VirtualBox and App Inventor, you have to download Google Chrome. You can get it from this link. VirtualBox is the system on which you can run and use App Inventor. Once you have downloaded VirtualBox, open the folder that was downloaded and then install it by selecting Run as Administrator. Configure VirtualBox once installed. The rest of the detailed instructions can be found on the FTC website, but we will not be going over that in this video. The new platform has two gamepads that are connected to a phone that has the Driver Station app on it. Through a direct Wi-Fi connection, this phone communicates with the other phone that has the robot controller app that is attached to the robot. This app tells the sensors and motors on the robot what to do. Using alt modes we are going to create on App Inventor, we can change the robot's behavior. An app called FTC Driver Station should be downloaded onto one of the two ZTE phones. This phone will be connected to two gamepads used to control the robot. The two joysticks are the only things really used and are used to control the robot and detachments during the driver controlled period. To download Driver Station, go to the Google Play Store and sign in with a Gmail account or create one for free. Search for the Driver Station app and then download it. An icon should be created on the home screen. In this part of the video, we will be showing you the Driver Station app and explaining some of its features. The three dots in the corner will open up the menu. The settings button shows you information about the robot controller and the uh, game pads. The restart robot button will restart the robot and the about button will give you information about the app. There are various details all around the screen that give you information about the driver station, the robot controller, and the Wi-Fi direct connection. There are also information like the phone's battery and the robot controller battery. The triangle in the bottom opens the Select Op Mode Spinner, where you can see a list of your created op modes. The Init button starts the current op mode. We are going to use a gamepad to control the robot during the driver controlled period. In order to connect gamepad 1 to the phone, you have to press Start and A simultaneously. As you can see, a gamepad icon has showed up on the top of the screen. To connect as user 2, you have to press start and B simultaneously. As you can see, whenever the phone detects movement on the gamepad, the gamepad icon will highlight green. That is all we need to know right now about the Driver Station app. Thank you for watching and please watch our next video about programming an op mode using App Inventor.